The battle between Dylan Farrow and Woody Allen's exploded into the headlines tonight. She first accused him of sexual abuse in 1992, right around the time that her mother, Mia Farrow, discovered Allen was involved with her adopted daughter, Soon Yi. This weekend, Dylan sent an open letter to New York Times and her charges against the Oscar-winning director are graphic. She says, quote, When I was seven years old, Woody Allen took me by the hand and led me into a dim, closet-like attic on the second floor of our house. He told me to lay on my stomach and play with my brother's electric train set. Then he sexually assaulted me, unquote. A representative for Woody Allen responded Sunday night, saying Mr Allen's read the article and found it untrue and disgraceful. At the time, a thorough investigation was conducted by court-appointed independent experts. The experts concluded there was no credible evidence of molestation, that Dylan Farrow had an inability to distinguish between fantasy and reality, and that Dylan Farrow had likely been coached by her mother, Mia Farrow. No charges were ever filed, unquote. My next guest not only defends Woody Allen, she dated him back in 1977, when she was just 17 years old, and he was 42. Stacey Nelkin is the founder of thedailyaffair.com, and she joins me now exclusively. Uh, Stacey Nelkin, thank you for joining me. Thank You're you in a, for a good me. position. You're in a good position, many would say, to uh, assess the veracity, perhaps, of Woody Allen's denials here that he would ever behave in such an inappropriate manner. What do you think of these claims and charges from Dylan Farrow? Well, first of all, I've known Woody for a really long time. I've known him since 1977, so I knew him before all of this, during all of this, and after. Um, I think these accusations are absolutely abominable and not true. And I, I, it, it saddens me to see him to have to go through this again 20 years later. Now, you were 17 when you met Woody Allen. He was mm -hmm. 42. Yeah. Uh, you met, when you were cast for a small role in Annie Hall, the movie, which in right. the end didn't actually make the, the final cut, but you dated him for two years. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the relationship. Oh, it was a life-altering relationship for me. Um, he taught me many, many things. He was a father figure to me, as you can imagine, somebody 24 years older. And it, it was a wonderful relationship. You know, I was really in love with him. And uh, he taught me all kinds of things about film and music and, and, and about life. He was a, a wonderful man, and we had a great time. So. There are many, and, and you will have heard this over the years, who would say that it's inappropriate for a man of 42 to have a sexual relationship with uh, a girl of 17. What would you say to Correct. them? Um, I think situations like that, relationships like that, have been going on since time immemorial. Um, except right now, we have the older woman and the younger guy. I mean, look at Ellen Barkin, look at Susan Sarandon. They both have guys who are like 20, 30 years younger than they are. So I think situations like this happen if you're looking for a parental figure, perhaps. So. I want, to, I want to play a clip. Woody Allen never publicly acknowledged your relationship. Um, but in 1979, a couple of years after, after you met, uh, the film Manhattan came out about, coincidentally, a 42-year-old dating a 17-year-old girl. I want to play a clip from this, because many believe it was based on your, on your romance. You like the way I look? Mm -hmm. Very provocative. You're getting through to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, to excuse me. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Mm. She's 17. I'm 42 and she's 17. <coughs> I'm older than her father. Can you believe that? Let me ask you one question, if I may, Stacey, about, about the relationship, which is that yeah. you were 17 when it began, and mm -hmm. I believe that Woody Allen's people would fly you to Los Angeles and you would see him there and, and so on. Is that right? Right, and back to New York, mostly in New York because Woody doesn't like L.A. So I was in right. L.A., it, I was flown out there, and I would come back to visit him, and occasionally he would come visit me in L.A., but he hated it. But you're so. aware, <laughs> right, but you're aware that the, the legal age of consent in... LA would be 18. Not oh, I was 18 at that time. No, no, I was 18 at that time. Mm. Yeah. Right. So there was never yeah. anything illegal about it. Not at all. It was a completely consensual relationship, and it was a wonderful relationship. So. Why? Why do you think that Mia Farrow uh, is helping her daughter, uh, and she's been backed by her son, Ronan, and others? Uh, why do you think they're going through all this? if they have simply all invented it? Yeah. Well, I, to me, 
this smacks of uh, pure. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're looking for a lot of publicity here. There's, it's no secret that Ronan has a big show coming out on uh, MSNBC. And, um, you know, coincidentally, the Vanity Fair article about him came out. Um, perhaps he's not Woody's son, all of this, and now the letter. The timing is, to me, quite suspicious. So I think this is all trying to help him have a fantastic show and good press, bad press. It's all press. It's all good. But you are talking about, obviously, a family that were ripped apart by... Yeah. Woody Allen's affair with Sun Yi. Sun Yi was Mia Farrow's adopted daughter. She was 19 and he was 55. And perhaps more pertinently, of course, he had been around her, uh, Sun Yi, since she was very young, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and many people feel that that in itself should have precluded him from ever having any relationship with him. You were, you were also very young when uh, he had the relationship with you. So, so, mm. you know, people say, look, there's a, there's a pattern here of a, an older guy basically not corrupting but you know having relationships with much much younger women and in the case of Sun Yi somebody who was the adopted daughter of his partner that it's a pattern of inappropriateness well listen I don't condone what uh, you know what happened in the relationship with Woody and Mia and then with Sun Yi um, but um, first of all I was hardly corrupted I was more than willing and and very happy to be with somebody who was older. Um, you know, at the time, Woody didn't really hang out with Mia's kids. He was not into the family thing quite so much. So, um, you know, him being around Suni as a young girl, uh, you know, that she, she was, uh, he was hardly a father figure to her because she had a father, who, uh, her adoptive father was Andre Previn, not Woody. So, so you personally have no issue with what he did? Oh, no. No, no. Not at all. I think it was very inappropriate. And I think Woody, uh, Mia, excuse me, had every right to be completely enraged. However, <laughs> you know, there's, there's anger and, and being upset. And then there are making accusations against uh, a man and calling him a child molester. Um, the, you know, these accusations came on the heels of a horrible custody battle of Mia being extremely upset. Um, hell hath no fury like a woman scorn, and she was, you know, hell-bent and determined to destroy something that he loved. Woody loved Dylan. He, you know, we were in contact at the time, and he would talk about her a lot. He loved the kids that they had adopted together, and, uh, you know, she took Dylan away <laughs> by by creating this whole scenario, and it's very sad. And, you know, by the way, I would like to say my heart goes out to Dylan because I believe that she believes this happened, and I believe that she's been in a lot of pain uh, for many, many years, and it, she really was the unfortunate victim of this horrible scandal. Um, but, you know, child molestation, that is a, a completely, completely different thing. And, and that's what I would like to talk about because I do not believe that 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 he did that. I think those accusations are you, absolutely false. You made a claim that Mia Farrow tried to recruit you to make Woody look bad during that custody battle in 1992. Yeah. What exactly did she ask you to do? Well, it wasn't Mia herself. It was somebody from her camp had called and asked if I would testify and and admit that I was 15 when we dated and I said no because I was not 15 I was 17 18 and 19 and to me there's a big distinction between that and uh, you know I think they were looking for the fact that you know 15 is jail bait 17 is a very different story um, and I would not go along with that so I think she was trying to create a pattern of this is a man who you know looks for young girls and um, uh, you know seduces them unwittingly and 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 that's not true I was very very much <laughs> willing to to be dating him I was thrilled and I believe Sun Yi probably was as well she was 18 19 20 when all this happened 
Um, right. You know? Well, Stacey Nolkin, I really appreciate you joining me to tell uh, your side of the story. Uh, thank you very much. Thank CNN you. asked Mia Farrow's manager today for a comment regarding your claims that her team approached you in the early 90s during the custody battle with Woody Allen. We did not receive a call back. Coming up, the other side of the story. Alan